friendship, warmth, and it is getting a little warm in here, isn't it? But, uh, but uh, I, I owe so much to so many of you who have stepped forward to help me pull off an event like this. I became the first member of my party to head up a legislative chamber in our state, in our entire state, in 53 years, and that was January 7 years and three months ago. And although we want our majority largely in outstate Missouri, I wanted to show that the new majority would not be a bunch of monsters, would not be a bunch of ogres, that there were many of us who recognized that the St. Louis region is the economic engine of our state. Mm -hmm. that, and that as the economy here goes, so goes the economy of the state of Missouri. That's right, that's right. And that we do not prosper as a state without a healthy urban core. And so it was necessary to step forward on a number of issues of urban redevelopment, uh, whether it was the old post office, whether it was uh, preserving historic preservation tax credits. And you know, in the, in the years 01 to 04, when Bob Holden and I were in office, we were working in bipartisan fashion. We set aside the campaigns, we set aside the, the political attacks and tried to do what was right for the people. Amen. And what was right for the people was to preserve historic preservation tax credits, even in a budget downturn, and look at Washington Avenue. Seven years ago, it did not look like it does now. The policies have proven to be good ones. When we did not ask what somebody's politics was, we didn't ask if you were a Republican, a Democrat, or independent, we tried to step forward and do what's right. They always say, if you haven't got anything to say good about somebody, don't say nothing. <laughs> but I have got something good to say about this young man. Because when I first went into the house and met him and talked with him, I knew that he was the right kind of a guy, whether he was Republican or Democrat or whatever it was. He was strictly, strictly a human being that believed in what was right, that wanted to do what was right, and wanted to support all of us in our educational bid, our health care bid, and everything. He was that kind of a guy. And in the words of Betty Thompson, I want you all to go out and vote and support Peter Kendall for Lieutenant Governor again. I want you to wake up, get up, sit up, look up, 